This is the view. <laughs> You're right next to the nuclear power station. Yeah, uh, the nuclear power station. <laughs> Say hello, what are lad? All right, campers, how are we doing? <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's have a look, Rab. Gotta leave the door open so I can see. Uh, literally in half an hour, this whole sky was covered with this, this cloud. God bless Fred, working class hero. Yes. That's William Jackson's birthday. Oh, that's impressive. If you can see it. It's a, a murmuration of, I'm not quite sure what birds they are yet. Moving in unison. Oh, they're all landing here. Amazing. Amazing, eh, Rab? All working in unison. Could think of another species right off the top of my head that could do it, taking a leaf out of their book. <laughs> Isn't it, Rab? So, we just do more, uh, just started off on day two of the Lancashire leg. Uh, we are undertaking our least favourite part of this trip is we're just walking, we got off the bus, we're walking to where we left off yesterday, which is just up here, we walked down this coast here to this spot and then went up through town, uh, so we've got, uh, we've walked a mile getting to here then we'll walk back that mile. But that's just the nature of the trip. I just cannot, I can't leave that gap, you know, in, on the trip. I wanna, I wanna walk every step like I've mentioned before. That's just the way it is. And this morning, Uh, we got up and it was the bluest of skies. There was not a cloud in the sky. So I decided to put my shorts on for the first time. The sun was out. I had a cup of tea in the sun first thing this morning. And you could tell it was going to be the most beautiful of days. The sun was warm. And literally as far, I've got a really good view of the sky here. Uh, and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Uh, half an hour later, the whole of the sky, now there isn't, you can't, a tiny bit of blue over there. Uh, Literally in half an hour, this whole sky was covered with this, this cloud. Which I found interesting. And now it's quite cold. It's a chill in there. Oh, half Moon Bay Cafe. We won't be calling in there though, cause we usually don't have breakfast. 
we usually leave breaking our fast until later in the day so this is where we got to yesterday we'll just cross the path that's it bugs so we walked up here and we went up there so now we unfortunately we'll go back the way we've just been come on lad come on we'll go back the way we've been and do it all again I've just seen there's someone here with a, a telescope, a bird watcher, who'll know what these birds are. So let's let's ask this individual what all the birds murmurating are. Making a beautiful noise as well. Don't know if you can see them. Oh, they're all just on the like the, I don't know if you can see that as just behind the fence. Oh, amazing. Oh, that's a better view. Come here. Hello, madam. Hello. How are you? Uh, what, what birds are they? Not. Not, are they? All oh, right. Oh, there you go. We've got a professional. They are the knots that are, and they were murmurating, is that right, what you'd uh, yeah. yeah. Now they're all just walking around. <laughs> it's amazing. The knots, uh, so they're little wader birds, little seabirds? Yeah. Up to Greenland. So they'll be going up, yeah. they'll be getting ready to go soon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah, they go up to Greenland, these, these nuts, soon. They're all getting together with the loved ones and I'm um, going to head off. Oh, they're mostly sort of grey and white at the moment. They're right. probably young ones. Right, all oh, right, okay. The adults will be coming into red summer cream. Right, oh, they, turn, they go red, do they? Yeah. They make a lovely noise as well while they're murmuring, don't they? Right, well, thank you for the information. Have a lovely day now. Oh, yeah, that's great, isn't it? We found out what the bird they are. I would have never known myself. Uh, <laughs> perfect. There's all the Hesham port. So what we're hoping, we've come down the power station a route and we're hoping there's a path through to get us to the beach on the other side of the power station So, we'll have a quick look around this corner. They reckon it's a nuclear, nuclear power station. Shit, doesn't look like doesn't look like we can get through here which is a shame I was hoping there was gonna be like a little bush track around but it doesn't look like it is here's the power station <coughs> So 
So they reckon all that look by the looks of it, all that power coming from here is coming out of these two pylons. Right, this is where hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Oh, what's this here? There's a path. See? There's a path. Oi, stop pulling everything. Pulling them. Now, your favourite part of the day, mate. Other than eating. Go on. Get him. <laughs> he doesn't know where he's running to. As long as he's running. That's all that matters. Slow down. Sure one day. No, he won't hurt himself. He, he's in the zone, Rab. He is part of his environment. Uh, this has got to be a path to the beach, even though we're going the wrong way now. Beach is the other way. But surely, this path will take us all the way around. We shall see. This is the... This is the reason we are... <coughs> we try to find these routes through. Hi up. Here we go. This might work. This may work. Let's try this one. It's in the right direction anyway. Fingers crossed. Well, I think, oh yes. We've found our way through. Hey up. I can motorise vehicles down here. <laughs> here lad. So, here's the beach. Oh yes. Nice one. Go on lad. Oh. Hi pal. So that's where, let me think. Oh, I bet that land over there is like, could it be Fleetwood? Maybe. But this is where we're heading today, down where that beach is, around to the bottom of this peninsula. Through this place here, oh my goodness. Uh, lovely spot apart from this. <laughs> Yes, we've made it through to the coast. Nice one, past the power station. Onward, now. Hi, do. So, do you want to come and stay in this lovely caravan park? Uh, I don't know what it's called, but you're right next, this is the view. <laughs> You're right next to the nuclear power station. Yeah, uh, the nuclear power station. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so. You can come for a nice swim out in the bay here. Where the outlet pipes from whatever this building is come you can come fishing you got like fish with three eyes and two tails and if you come night fishing here 
you'll see that the uh, the fish all display a bioluminescence. They glow in the dark. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Looks very scummy around here. Yeah, very scummy. Uh, so where are we heading? There's a place down here that supposedly got voted the nicest beach in England or something like that. My mate was telling me. And I think it's called Sutherland, maybe. It's like the southernmost point of this, where we are now, this little peninsula. So we're trying to get there today. Look at all these caravans. Holy shit. Get me out of here. Get me onto that beach there. But I can't see any of these. And we'll be happy. Look at all the scum here. Wonder what that's from. Yeah, you won't want to come fishing here, I don't think. No. Rap. Now, that's what you call a gate. Look at that. That got style. This is a, looks like an ash. I'm made gate. What's this? Maybe a bird watching place. Oh, it is. Bugs has disappeared. Leave the door for him. So this is where you come oh, and sit down. Hi, Rab. With your binoculars and watch the birds. Oh, this is what the knots. This is uh, the bird we saw murmurating earlier on. Oh, with that murmurations occur. Blah de blah. Now, this is something called Sambo's Grave. Been doing a bit of tree planting, some ash, mountain ash, birch, silver birch, willow, looks like a horse chestnut maybe, hawthorn. Nice one. Oh yeah, look at this. Now, oh, I was going to say it looks like a modern build. Looks like a modern build to me. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, Rab. Got to leave the door open so I can see. Oh, no, where was that? That's like a, is it a, like a magnifier, maybe. I can't tell. But this is a modern building. Could sleep in here though, no worries. Oh, she pretty there. Now I can see over there somewhere Blackpool Tower. But we've got to cross, go up the estuary of this it'll be the river loon i think and cross into kind of south lancaster walk all the way down with to i think there'll be fleetwood and then head south to blackpool yes right let's see if we can carry on this way Another nice gate, well done. Rab. Sambo's grave. You can pause it and read if you want. There you go, that's kind of where we are now. 
Sunderland Point. There you go. Right, let's see where we're going to go from here. Uh, interesting place. Beautiful. So this is Sunderland Point, I think it's called. We're just going to head down to the point. And then we've got to head back up there. Oh, I can see Lancaster in the distance, the universities on the skyline there. So yeah, we're going to have to head up here to wherever the next bridge is. Unless we can find someone in a boat to take us across here, which would be lovely. But we shall see. A nice place for a garden. Yeah, seeing so many uh, like hidden gems as it were in on this trip uh, <coughs> places I'd never consider coming normally uh, it's really interesting in my own land the land I was born this is what happens when you're morons don't know what's going on <laughs> is that not salt water Rab? I think it is mate ah, what a lovely place I'd never even heard of this place till yesterday, till I looked on the map. Because, believe it or not, I haven't planned this trip. <laughs> I just had the idea of doing it and then just found out it's kind of possible, or possible. And then that was it. I just waited until the uh, spring equinox to set off. I didn't plan anything. No route finding, no nothing. Uh, we're just making it up each day as we go along, really. There is, I do plan. I look at the tricky points and try and work out how we're going to do those. But uh, other than that, We just follow our noses. So this is the estuary of the River Loon, which comes out from, I mean, the source of the River Loon is goes right up to past T-Bay and maybe Kirby Stephen. And it comes through uh, and uh, terminates here in this estuary. It's a beautiful river, the River Loon. <clears throat> so we're heading up back now to where the van was parked this morning a place called Overton I think and a friend of mine has just phoned me earlier when I stopped for a coffee and turned my phone on I'd just missed the call so he's in the area so he's going to come and meet, uh, meet us here for a bit I think and hopefully while we've got someone else with a vehicle, we'll, we'll get him to do a bit of uh, a ferry journey for us so we can do another section today or for tonight. Here, lad. You got a sand all over your bugs. You've been in a sand bath. Heel. Heel. Woo, 
Go out on your pup. All right, well, here we are. This is the River Loon with my good friend Wood here, who's come to join me. Peace. Say hello, Woody, lad. All right, campers. How are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, we've walked from today from, what was it called? Overton. Overton, yeah. Overton. We walked up the other side of the river there, went to that pub for a, a beer, a bite to eat, and uh, up into Lancaster, across the bridge. Now we're heading back down. So how's your walk been, Woody lad? Yeah, I've enjoyed it, mate. It's been good catching up with your pal. Had yeah. Scoops at the pub. Nice weather. Yeah, I'm beautiful, huh? Yeah, it's been good, mate. Enjoyed it. And uh, do you want to, do you want to tell the audience what you do for a living? And uh, me? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. It's very but... interesting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, no, I work with the community, work in Bolton, so I do like quite a lot of positive community development projects, men in sheds, so we have support networks for men's, men who've like maybe suffered bereavement or anxiety, so we bring them together on nice spaces and it really helps them, it gives them a purpose and a network, a food growing projects help with that. We've got yeah. about 20, 20 odds in Bolton that we manage, so they're yeah. for health and well-being and growing organic food. Yes. And then, um, like say, I manage uh, UCAN centres, urban care and neighbourhood centres, so they're one-stop shop for employment training, debt advice and the cost of living now, people need it more than ever, so we're doing good things in community. That's yeah, right. excellent, excellent. I've been uh, involved a little bit in the yeah, past. Yeah, yeah Willoway, yeah. Uh, Willoway, a place called Willoway. It's like a good community food going project and a men in sheds. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Really, really good. Uh, I think it was it out of Australia originally, Man in yeah, Sheds. Yeah, they set up communal <coughs> blokes who'd retired and uh, they, were, yeah. they said the mental health suffered when they weren't working and losing the purpose so they set communal sheds up. So we've kind of done that, uh, but differently in Bolton. So yeah. but we've got like uh, five now, the biggest network in the uh, UK really. So. Right, excellent. Yeah. And those are uh, oh, down here, isn't it? Yeah. Hi, bud. They're all different depending on the lads, you know, yeah. who come to them. Yeah, it's yeah. Like a lot of the guys who come, they've got skills, they've worked in engineering or they've worked in construction or. Yeah. Or even if they just want to come and have a cup of tea. We just created a nice place where people are like welcome, really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it has a real positive uh, effect on. And the guys who've retired, uh, they may have, you know, mental health issues or they're lonely or whatever, and they can go to the uh, the men in sheds group, and they can start putting their their skills back into use for something really positive and sharing their knowledge. And obviously, uh, uh, like what he says about. Uh, just having a cup of tea sometimes and having some company because yeah. uh, it is it's quite a big problem with isolate. women and that isn't yeah. it yeah. like isolate isolation yeah men men are no good at talking about the feelings like whereas women are a bit more open and they talk to the we're like proud and we're always all right but there's a lot of times in life when we're not all right and then places, yeah. while they're working fixing things they're chatting side by side and some quite quite talking about some quite personal and emotions and things like that, supporting yeah. each other, some uh, promoting counselling that's helped them with bereavement and taking, you know, I've seen some real good things, uh, like Bill, one of the guys who were a bit isolated, come on, see him now, his brother said you've saved his life, like, yeah. uh, from where he was to where he is now, and how, how do you measure that? It's like, yeah, of course. And yeah. like Bill's like an amazing poet, he's a musician. Yeah, he's such a talented Talent, guy, yeah. you know, yeah. once you get him out of his shell, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, definitely. I've been walking with Woody and Bill in the woods and yeah. so on in different places, and this guy uh, is such a talented individual, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, we did a Fred Dibner poem, uh, if anyone you know Fred Dibner from Bolton. Yeah. He was a steeple jack, uh, an old engineer. Uh, he's a real <laughs> cool hero in Bolton, but uh, wanna, I'll do a little poem for you while we're on video. Yes, but, uh, go on. Fred Dibner one. Bright as a silver button was Fred, with a snug cloth cap upon his head, 
the means to turn up valves of steam and these empowered air pillow dream of victorian ages reignited of engineers who were far-sighted brunel telford and the rest but working class fred was simply the best as a steeplejack he learned his trade and then a filming offer was made by the bbc to capture all those honk torn antics a grinning poser do you like that as the chimneys tumbled where brick upon brick upon brick a rumbled the smokeless stacks of the cotton town they paid for his dream he knocked them down a cloth cap caricature certainly not he made a living where danger boils hot working on high yet closer to zero god bless fred working class hero yes That's william jackson's birthday nice <laughs> A very nice yeah. recital that's yeah. our first uh, poem on yeah. beyond growing i think right. nice buddy thank you so much <laughs> yeah, for that brother. yeah so uh, yeah the men in sheds thing uh it's a uh, bit well worthwhile kind of looking into you know yeah um, definitely it's helped and healed a lot of people we've got a lot of gp yeah. social prescribing now coming off medication for and just being outside in nature and connecting again that's what it's all about so yeah yeah to share to that we love that don't yeah. we yeah, man. you know that's what myself and Woody are doing today catching yeah. up yeah. over a walk through the countryside a couple of beers of course <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh yeah it's uh very the best form of medicine i think you know Right, excellent. Well, thank you for the interview there, Woody lad. Yeah, you're all right, mate. A Good pleasure. Good thank you for the poem. Yeah, you're all right. That's uh, William Jackson's poem, by the way. Tribute to Fred Dimner. Yeah, but excellent. He, when he said that, uh, we went to Bolton Radio and it was like, um, I was just promoting community stuff and Bill had come along and I didn't know he could do poetry. And then when they had an interval, he just recited that and <laughs> the people in the studio were like blown away. I was like, what? I thought he was going to come out with roses and red violets and blue. <laughs> And now he's, he does a poetry corner once a month on Bolton FM. He's put work that's gone into a work town book around Bolton. Yeah. Um, yeah, amazing, man. And that's just one light, say. But yeah, no, it's been a pleasure, mate. It's been nice catching up. Anyway. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Right, well, we'll call it a day there yeah, on the video. Take See you care. next time. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, all good.